We've been living in Hawaii for four whole months. Now I know that doesn't sound like a long time to most people, but for us, it's kind of a big deal. This is the longest that we've stayed in one place in over three years of full-time traveling. Living in our RV, we got really used to constantly moving and changing locations from anywhere from a few days to a couple weeks at most. And being on an island now doesn't exactly help the situation. So in order to keep our travel muscles loose and to keep that island fever at bay, we're gonna be doing something that's absolutely crazy. We're going to another island. I think this might be the world's shortest Hawaiian vacation. We're gonna be flying from Kauai right over to Honolulu for a very quick 24 hour turnaround trip because we need it. And it's the closest landmass next to us. So we're going from here to right about there. Cheers. And the best part is this whole trip is only going to cost us about 50 bucks, airfare included, mainly because we have some Hawaiian Airlines points that we haven't used yet. And we've also racked up some Marriott points. So we're going to be staying at the Sheraton in Waikiki. So woo. we definitely try to take advantage of using those points and rewards when we travel. And this all kind of came together at the perfect time. So we're packing up a quick overnight bag and we're gonna head out. This will be our first time flying out of the Kauai airport, even though the airport here is very small. I have heard from other people visiting that the process of getting out like through security can be a little bit slow, which doesn't surprise me. That's just how Kauai rolls. So hopefully it's not too much of an issue. security it's always a win yeah it's true it does take a long time to get through security here there's only two x-ray machine things so that's what just takes forever to get through that last little part the plan is bathrooms food drink get on the plane so. america I think this is the first time I've ever gotten into an airport and not immediately wanted to go find where our gate is. That's how small this airport is. So I feel good about that. That's a big win for me. This is a good practice in getting comfortable filming in public places. It's awful. This is terrible. Somebody help us. Even though no one's really paying attention. So we're all set. We got some food at this little cafe. That was a really good chicken sandwich I had. Noelle got some fried rice. It was really good. Yeah. It kind of tastes like vacation <laughs> mode. I just need to find a coffee and it's official. Maybe a coffee to top it off. So far, so good. Let's get off the side. You want to sit next to me? because I was like, oh, it, I accidentally hit the wrong thing because literally two seconds before we got here is $20 and now it's $42. But now the other one's $80. Everything doubled by the time that we landed. It's like a proximity thing, huh? It's like it knew our plane landed. This was twice as much. If we get the same driver, he's gonna be like, 
the heck? We're waiting for Deb in a Nissan Altima. Got it. What color? Um, I don't know. We're just visiting from Kauai. Oh, okay. It's a mini vacation. Okay, sure. It's in my kiki. Yeah. Nice. Cool. Thank you. So how long are you staying here for? Just a night. <laughs> just, yeah, we're flying back tomorrow. <laughs> Okay. We have two kids, so oh, sweet. <laughs> I understand. We're here for R and R. Yeah, R and R. I totally understand. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Store here. Good. So we're at the wrong hotel now. <laughs> we got dropped off at the Sheraton Waikiki, and apparently we're looking for the Sheraton Princess, Princess Kaolani. I don't think we specified enough to our Uber driver. Sheraton Waikiki. Yeah. Nice. Cool. But the lady at the desk said that it is walking distance from here. It's okay. How far is it exactly? Six minutes to walk. Oh, that's not bad. Starting room to Sheraton Princess Kailani. We ain't on our island, okay? We're on another island. This place seems really nice, though. Hopefully we're not unpleasantly surprised. I mean, how many Sheratons do you need? We found the right hotel. <laughs> Definitely not as fancy as the other one, but hey, we'll take it. Yeah. Just one night. Never happened. Never happened. We're usually like a million miles away from the elevator. Almost exclusively. Almost exclusively. Yay! We did it! It's crazy how much of a difference it is flying into Honolulu than it is being anywhere on Kauai. After only being over in Kauai for a few months, it's almost like a culture shock. Honolulu, it feels like New York City. It's just massive and there's buildings, skyscrapers it feels like. Feel like a real city slicker. Okay, so we're gonna give you guys a nice little room tour. So we've got a big, big closet over here. Plenty of storage, which is nice. And we've got our bathroom. Comes with some body lotion and body lotion and soap, always nice. And the shower, which I like, they have like the big shampoo, conditioner, body wash all on the wall. So you know it's good. Opens up into our room. We got two double beds. So if Chris and I wanted to have some space, which we probably won't. We have two separate beds. We've got a nice little desk working station. And it looks like free complimentary bottles of water if you're a Marriott Bonvoy member, which we are, which is how we actually booked this place. So I'm taking that as a super score. And then we have this lovely, huge balcony with a really pretty city and ocean view. Got Waikiki Beach right there. Honolulu right here. So I'm thinking, I wanna go down to the pool. Okay. And I wanna get a fancy drink. And then I wanna walk across the street and go to the beach. And then I just wanna walk around and then find somewhere to eat. So pool, drink, beach dinner. Pool, drink, beach, dinner. Pool, drink, beach, dinner. If we can't pull that <laughs> off, we're done. We went to the Splash Bar, which is, I think, is kind of like the main restaurant around yeah. here. Basically outside, so there's literally the pool, there's a guy playing music, and it was just like a bar vibe. I had fish tacos and a beer, and yeah. it was like... And I got these awesome Kahlua pork nachos. They it hit really the spot. Good. Just with your little frou frou dreams. Hawaii. Got your pina colada and your nachos. Chris is so cute, you guys. He's such a basic. <laughs> He's a BB. We love a BB. <laughs> Oh, 
like TTVs. <laughs> I might have to go check out some baby suits. What? Even though I have a drawer full of them. Last thing we need is more bathing suits. But hey, we're on vacation. Oh, you can see the cruise ship out there. That's crazy. Dude, and living on the east side of the island in Hawaii, we never get sunset. Yeah, we really don't. This jacket's blowing my mind right now. Is it? Yeah. It's like, we live, we live on Hawaii, but it's like... This is not different. not like this. Not in Kansas anymore. <laughs> Kind of a <laughs> Just watching the sunset. We should probably go in here, get snacks for later, because yes. they know us. And about five minutes after we get up to the room, we're gonna want a snack of some sort. Pineapple gummy rings. Cup noodle and Hawaiian sun. When in Rome, right? We're on vacation. So? Uh, this is us. This is us. This is home. This is the place. There's actually a nightlife here. By the time the sun goes down, everything is shut down on Kauai. Like, you go home when it's dark. But, even with a bunch of fun stuff to experience at nighttime, there is actually only one thing we wanted to do. <laughs> this got something funny. <laughs> early this morning to go get some breakfast and coffee. So excited. I had a delicious avocado bruschetta toast. Again at the splash bar, totally hit the spot. It looks so good. You had a strawberry waffle. I, went, I, went with, <laughs> I got a giant waffle. We're not really breakfast people or we're not really getting up this early people. We're not getting up early people. <laughs> but there's something about vacation <laughs> mode that it's like missing the opportunity for a hotel breakfast is yeah you have to do it vacation mode gave us gave us the energy to wake up early we appreciate it <laughs> since we got up early we've got a little bit of time to slowly pack up our stuff again we're gonna head home today already head back home leaving hawaii to go to hawaii let's leave hawaii to go to back to hawaii <laughs> sure even though we only had this quick trip to experience the hustle and bustle of Honolulu and Waikiki, we actually feel pretty accomplished. We got a small taste of the city life, enjoyed some delicious food, and truth be told, we're really excited to get home to our boys. good to know there's a lot of different ways to experience life in Hawaii but if there's one thing we've learned in all of our travels we made it. is that no matter where we are the best feeling is coming home. Yeah. 